Aloha. Thanks for your consideration of the views expressed in this Think Tech commentary. Ukraine isn't the end of it. Putin has much more on his mind. We need to consider Putin's plans against the Baltics north of Ukraine and in southeastern Europe south and west of it. There's a little non-contiguous Russian territory on the Baltics nestled between Lithuania and Poland. It's called Kaliningrad, and it's a perfect place for Putin to use as a staging area to threaten and invade the rest of the Baltics. That's undoubtedly one of the reasons they're so nervous about him. There's also a little sliver of land between Russia and Moldova just south of Ukraine called Transnistria which Putin already controls and which he can also use to threaten and invade Moldova and nearby Romania. They and neighboring Slovakia and Hungary should likewise be very nervous about Putin's intentions. Remember that Putin is conducting a hybrid war, with all kinds of unconventional weapons and strategies that go far beyond the classic kinetic notion of war. Some of these are in plain and brutal view, and that should terrify us, but there are other things that he uses more quietly. That should terrify us too. All by himself he is redefining war, and making it all the more murderous and criminal. So it's more than just a hybrid war, it's also multidimensional. You might think Putin is singularly focused on murdering Ukrainians and destroying Ukraine as a democracy and as a country. But while he is doing this all in plain view he is also moving quietly against a number of neighboring democratic countries using a broad array of nefarious tricks that he does behind his back, and ours. NATO the European Union and the US, which are facing a real possibility of fragmentation anyway, should not be fooled. Putin is engaging in a full tilt effort against the West, including funding Le Pen's campaign against Macron and a thousand other subversions dedicated to compromising public and political sensibilities, with paid propaganda, espionage, hacking and critical lies and disinformation, all in aid of his plans to go as far beyond Ukraine as possible. Some say Putin is conducting a one-man World War III, and these machinations do offer some support for that. The West has to recognize what he is doing, and to play much harder if we are to contain him. It's certainly a new kind of war. It doesn't only involve multiple hybrid asynchronous attacks, it involves these subtle subversions against multiple countries. If the West does not act quickly we could lose this war before we have a chance to deal with it. In fact, it may already be too late. In any event we have no time to waste to develop a strategy, like Putin's strategy, that goes beyond just Ukraine. Thanks for your consideration of the views expressed in this Think Tech commentary.